any Fredericksburg peaches are the best. An hour and a half west of Austin, Texas, you'll find Fredericksburg, where peaches are a way of life and have been for generations. I freeze them and I make peach jelly. I make, if the jelly doesn't turn out, it's just ice cream topping. There's no failure with peaches. And like all produce, fueling the demand, farmers and their crops. The farming we do today is a whole lot different than it was 30 years ago. Travis Jensky is among the caretakers of an eight generation tradition rooted in peach trees, Jensky Orchards. When I was a kid, I worked for my dad's neighbor picking peaches. He uh, paid me 50 cents an hour to do that. And I, I was a kid a long time ago. Over the decades, he has seen changes. 100 degree weather in this time of year is really hard on these trees. December 19th, we had 18 inches and 15 points. Travis keeps a log of conditions year after year. 2022 is one of the driest he's seen. It's the extreme drought, extreme, extreme rain. It, there's nothing normal anymore. These summer showers that we used to get years ago, they're not happening anymore. They hadn't happened in 30 years. The drought here in the Hill Country and the continued heat wave has really taken a beating on the yield here at the Yensky Orchard. In fact, this cooling area back here in any given year should be filled front to back, top to bottom with peaches. Some years you have good peach season, some years you don't, but we have other stuff going on as well. And we have to adapt and diversify. Barrett Yensky is Travis's son, the next caretaker of Yensky Orchards, but his son Gage is next in line to carry the growing family legacy. I just picked these four. Why are these good ones? Because they're all black and they don't have any red on them. So this red one right here, these aren't good to pick yet. Correct. Why? What, I mean, have you ever tasted one of those? Yes, they are very tart and sour. Not as good as these. Correct. Yes. Looking to the future, the Yenskis are optimistic. This year, they've already installed two new wells for crop irrigation, forging a path forward together. We've been going here since the 1870s, I believe. And I hope we can keep that going again. <laughs>